From 1939 to 1946, millions of lives were impacted from World War II. The war's impact may not have come through injuries or battles, but from sacrifice. Arminio Lazzarini may never have seen combat, but the war forever changed him. This is Arminio Lazzarini's war story. December 7, 1941, the attack on Pearl Harbor launched America into the fight overseas. Determined to control the skies, America was in dire need of pilots. Arminio Lazzarini was one of the many volunteers. Japan may have had air superiority on December 7th, but America was determined to have air supremacy in the years to come. We all wanted to be in the Air Corps. We wanted to be pilots. Hmm. So only, out of the six, only two of us made it. After being inducted into the Army Air Corps, Lazzarini shipped out to Lakeland, Florida for primary flying. This would lead to Lazzarini experiencing how one small mistake could ruin his chances of survival. My instructor, well, we both went up, you know, and he says, Lazzarini, are you okay? I says, yeah. Well, are you all set? I says, yeah. So he takes a stick and he shoves it forward. The plane goes down. And Jesus and I go in the back seat. Huh? Jeez, I grabbed the stick. My rear, my rear end was sticking out, you know. And finally, he, well, he pulls out, and then I come back down, you know. I didn't have my safety belt buckled. And he knew it, that son of a gun. After completing primary training and coming to a close call with death by being stranded in a storm, Lazarina graduated and moved to Mariana, Florida for advanced training. After the close calls and knowledge of textbook maneuvers, Lazzarini thought that advanced training would be a breeze. However, within the first weeks, Lazzarini hears of disheartening news that shows war isn't a game. Before we got there, the upper class, well, they were graduating, and there were three guys that went up. They just horse around, you know. One guy got it on the other guy's tail, the other guy got the other guy's tail, and then he kept going in a circle, and then they made the circle smaller and smaller. And finally, well, the first plane, he got so tight he flipped over and he crashed. Second plane crashed, the third plane crashed. Killed three of them. After the death of three upperclassmen, there was no room for any more horseplay. The cadets have seen firsthand that war isn't fun and games, but of death and loss. Keeping his head down, Lazarini tried to follow the rules up to a T. And one day, the captain calls me in, he says, Lazzarini, you were turned in for buzzing a farm. I says, it couldn't have been me. It had to be another plane. No, it was a plane 88. After being kicked out, Lazzarini enrolled in glider school. Since glider missions were widely known as more dangerous than most, glider pilots were given more privileges than other pilots. I got called to go out and fly. It was real bumpy up there, and, and I got airsick. Uh, I threw up. The next day, I had to go up for another two hours. And late in the afternoon again, and I threw up again. And so the next day, the captain calls me in. Lazzarini, you're grounded. <laughs> and Jesus, I try to tell the captain. I says, look, I says, uh, uh, the guys all got on me because I was the only one there not smoking. And so I picked it up, and Jesus, well, it was pretty good. I, I tried to tell him, I said, I think it's because I was smoking, but he wouldn't listen. You're grounded. Shortly after Lazzarini was grounded, he transferred to radio school. Before his graduation, World War II had ended. Through failure, Lazzarini still grew from the experiences. The war left a lasting impact on many lives, not excluding Lazzarini. Although Lazzarini never saw combat, he experienced death loss and failure like many others. However, the experiences alone don't define an individual, but how one learns from such experiences. Lazzarini stayed patriotic and supportive of his country. Arminio Lazzarini will forever be remembered as part of the greatest generation. <laughs>